Hey guys, I wanted to do a video in re respect to the music in the shop. So recently on the Lean Maniacs chat, this discussion came up, and of course everybody's got a variety of opinions. Some believe that radio is a distraction and it shouldn't be played in the shop. Uh, some companies allow folks to have one earbud in, no earbud, and listen to their own music. Others have speakers at their workstation uh, at reasonable volume so people can listen to independent music. So, you know, there's a lot of different opinions around this and it's not cut and dry and it's complex. So I wanna talk about our standard in our shop, how we wanna do this going forward. So to do that, I wanna tell a story of when we were down the street renting for many years. So at first we had radio in the shop and to be frank, it got completely out of control. As we added more CNC machines and higher volume in the shop, the radio went up and up and up. And it got to the point where uh, we didn't have uh, distributed speakers in the shop and there was just two speakers kind of on one wall and it would blast and blare. And you know, in one part of the shop, you couldn't hear it. If you were by the speakers, you were getting totally blasted. And then guys were changing stations all the time. And it just got to be such chaos uh, that I put a stop to it because it was distracting and you couldn't hear a machine if you're trying to run a CNC and hear if a tool's breaking or things of that nature. So I, I did away with it for many years. We moved back into this building or into this building we had a small radio that we were playing once in a while, and then when we first got the IP speaker system, we started using one speaker. So now we have a really nice setup. We've got four distributed speakers throughout the shop, pretty evenly spread, so that there's a, a, an equal amount of volume throughout. And we can actually adjust those speakers if we want to. Right, right now they're all set the same. But what I wanna do is be careful that we don't go down the path that we were once in. So playing music in the shop is a privilege and not a right. And I, I want the music, I think it's good. Uh, I, want, I think you guys want it. And what I want it to be is something that puts us in a, in a mood that makes us feel good and helps the day go by. So we enjoy what we're doing. We got some background music and things of that nature. And I think that that's positive. I, there's, I don't see any negative in that. Now there are a couple things that I wanna get under control. Number one, the volume. Uh, I have noticed that the volume has gone up a little bit and I don't think anybody did that maliciously. We were running a CNC in the tumbler recently, creating a lot of noise in here. So of course the volume went up. I understand that. What I wanna do though is when we're not running those things, I wanna bring that volume back down. We should be able to stand directly underneath one of the four speakers and have a conversation with another team member without raising our voices. If we have to raise our voice, it's too loud. So the music is not meant to be the forefront, it's meant to be the background, okay? And I wanna keep it that way. The other thing is, is we all like a different variety of music. You know, I'm a metalhead, I like metal, but I don't like thrash metal, and this is not about me not liking that or, or vice versa. I wanna, you know, here's the spectrum of the music in the world. I want to bring the limits in a little because I don't want to have anything that's offensive to anyone here or offensive if I get a customer that calls on the cell phone and I got to grab a call. You know, I don't want to hear rap, boom, F U F U F U kind of crap in the background. <laughs> okay, I don't think the customer wants to hear that. So we need to, you know, kind of tune in our music a little bit. If it's melodic and it's rock, that's fine but thrash metal and just screaming and growling or rap or F you, F you, mother, 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 you know, all that, no go, no go. So I did remove a couple of stations from our playlist that some of the artists have those kind of songs that go, you know, crazy. And I removed a couple of, of my own stations. So um, let's think about a story here. If you guys remember the video from Bob Taylor on the Wood Ebony, so he talks in that video that if they don't take care of the resources, the resources are gonna be gone. I'm paraphrasing, of course. And he says, now we're gonna have ebony that's not just jet black, that as guitar players, that's what we want. We're gonna get some ebony with color and we have to embrace that. And I wanna paraphrase what Bob said here because I think it, it fits with this. Let's just say that I said to you guys, 
no more music in the shop, okay? And five years from now, I said, all right, we can have music again as long as we trim the parameters and we keep the volume down. Everybody would be ecstatic that we can have music again. They wouldn't care that, oh, I can't play rap, I can't play thrash metal, and I gotta keep the volume a little bit down. So as Bob says, let's skip that five-year period where we don't have Ebony. Let's skip that five-year period where we don't have music. And let's just be respectful about how we do it now so that we can continually enjoy it. Okay, guys? There you go. Thanks.